Is it one? No, it's two. Sad by sad, I don't have no clue. I'm talking the hardest, shedding out gigs. Cappy is the name takes out of the blue. CM is the one with sense. Hence, you can't just sit on the fence. Come true the foolishness, just look at the gaffer and sit on the bench. When you talk about wins, we got that. Time to settle this thing with a chop back. Aim top corner, roll top scorers. We spread the play that floor up. Out in the field, United twins are the next of kings. Question debate is a show that brings in a one feet one trying to see who wins. And UFC. Hey, it almost feels weird coming in front of you guys and saying Manchester United to Liverpool one but it actually happened um what a game it was on Monday Monday night football you know before the game we were looking at this fixture and saying you know what especially after the Brighton result especially after the Brentford result we were saying you know what this could be an absolute beatdown and even when people were saying oh you know it would be the Manchester United thing to lose both of those opening fixtures and then win against Liverpool even now it's like no impossible the element that we had that allowed us to do something like that I thought it was all gone credit to Eric Ten Hag for and the coaching staff for getting the players prepared drilling them up um there was a you know news that came out today actually today being Tuesday yeah Tuesday uh where it basically said Eric Ten Hag made the players run the distance that Brentford overran them by so I think it was 13.6 kilometers Eric Ten Hag actually ran with them it can be symbolic when you're trying to get your word across get your philosophy across but also gain the trust of the players that are in front of you I know a lot of people including myself <clears throat> have said you know a lot of these players that are in the team right now and I'm not convinced at all it's one game a lot of these players in the team are not good enough but what we will have to deal with unfortunately and what Eric Ten Hag will have to deal with is a lot of the guys that have been in the previous regime until we're able to get rid of the ones that are surplus to requirements and he's able to get in players that he wants that will suit his system so Eric Ten Hag will have to do a very good job of acclimatizing himself to the team all of their strengths and weaknesses until that moment comes and that time comes where he's gonna have his own team and there will be no questions asked shout out to the fans who were outside of the stadium protesting some of them didn't even go into the stadium and watch the game big credit to them shout out to the people that went into the stadium you know sang glazes out chants and stuff like that and kept the noise rolling kept the chance rolling and shout out to the people on the internet you know we've got the likes of Cappy the likes of myself but also all of you guys that are keeping the hashtag of Glazers out trending on Twitter on Instagram on all these social media platforms day in day out this is what we need to continue to do and of course having a protest was a great thing but wouldn't it be amazing if we could keep this up and say every single game at Old Trafford it's a protest it's an organized protest obviously the win I, I saw a lot of people worrying that maybe it might take a, a little shine off of that glazes out movement but there's no need to be conflicted in these circumstances because by now the majority of us if not all of us understand how the glazers are running this football club and how they've run this club and turned it into a mockery the, the brilliant institute that is Manchester United is being run by people who don't understand the sport in general and uh, run this club like a true business and don't care about the footballing departments they hire people who don't have experience in those footballing departments and allow them to have the trust of the manager who needs their help in order to shape his own team in order to shape his own identity and culture so in the end of the day it's hashtag glazes out continuously for the whole season it won't be an overnight thing but if we continue to stay united if we unite even more because i don't think we've even reached our full potential remember remember guys and girls yeah we all want the same thing it's not about who's right who's wrong everybody's gonna have a different opinion 
what we all want is Manchester United to be great again, to be contending for the league, to have with trophies, and to be playing great football. And with a guy like Eric Denag, I truly believe that that can be the case, but he needs the people above him to help him out even more. Because it's not a one-man army thing. It's not a one-man job. It all starts at the top with the ownership and then filters down to the board where you get experienced members in there who know how to do their job, improving the scouting department, you know, technical directors, directors of football, ETC, so many more people behind the scenes that can help make Eric Ten Hag and his coaching staff's job easier. But it all starts from the top. Big up to everybody, big up to all of the 22s who came over on Twitch for the Stay United watch along. You know, watch the game, shout out to everybody on Discord who came on and gave their say live on the show. I appreciate everybody for the support and I'm sure CM does too. But man, you know, I was all, I was almost in a maze yesterday because I just couldn't believe it. I mean, 16 minutes in, Jaden Sancho, go, take the lead. We started so well. That little stretch from the beginning to when we scored the goal was probably the best I've seen Manchester United play in ages. Ages. The intensities and stuff like that filtered down to a certain extent. But we were able to hold on. Even when we conceded, we were able to hold on to the lead. And we got the three points. We got a crucial... Because let's be real. Eric Ten Hag needed these three points. He needed these three points like his life depend on in it. Because you lose against Brighton. You lose against Brentford. The scrutiny is at an all-time high. Just two games into your Premier League career. And you're going up against Liverpool next. Mad. The team that have been chasing. Desperately chasing Manchester City in winning a league title. That is who we're coming up against. And of course, they had a few guys missing and clearly, you know, wasn't at full strength. But is that our fault? When you get a plate of food, you can only eat what's in front of you. You can then just reject it, yeah? And then tell somebody else to cook for you. You have to eat what's in front of you on the plate and be grateful for it. And that's what Manchester United did yesterday. But like what CM says, this is something where we cannot get too excited because things like this have happened before and we know, we all know too well what has happened after yeah. that. Yeah, we've got Southampton next on Saturday. I'm expecting to see gradual growth as the season goes by. And I'm looking at, I'm keeping a close eye on these players, a very close eye on these players and seeing how their effort levels vary. Because in the end of the day, Liverpool is a big match. Are you going to exert the same level of energy against the Southampton with all due respect? Against any team, because that's what the goal should be. And also, the same way I said the intensity dropped after we scored the first goal, that has to be better. Mm. The way we keep possession has to be better. We cannot have 30% possession at home. The aim would be to be neck and neck with a big team like Liverpool. <laughs> Because we're just not there right Man. now. But we could be there if things go our way. Once again, I want to reiterate. Hashtag Glazers out. CM explained why. I've explained why multiple times, including on yesterday's stream. But all of you guys and girls know why it is. Hashtag Glazers out to the world and back for the whole season. So let's continue to push. That what CM, let's continue to unite and relay that same message. Whether it be physically or whether it be virtually on social media. Yeah? Big up to everybody. You know, special shout outs to the likes of Lisandro Martinez. To, to, to Rome Malassia. Good performances. Shout out to Anthony Martial, nice to call performance off the bench. And there are a few more guys as well, but I ain't going to say all the names. Because in the end of the day, it's the battle for consistency. The best teams are the most consistent. And we're far away from that right now. So let's see what happens. Obviously, a couple weeks to go in the transfer window. Let's see who else is able to come in, if anybody else comes in. But the final message is, Glazers out. And that is that. Let's see if Eric Ten Hag and his coaching staff and the players, most importantly, can apply themselves. This is to the players. 
you need to apply yourselves now and learn get rid of the bad habits like cm said it won't happen overnight but if you apply yourself if you work hard for the manager work hard for the badge and work hard for the shirt and the fans which is a minimum that you should be doing then it is possible it won't happen with everybody but it can happen with some so Man, you face Liverpool, expected battering After match big shocks, no electric 2-1, that result was staggering Them players for once weren't mannequins Composure at the back, no panicking Let's see what's next, the latest test Southampton, the food was ravishing Man, you face Liverpool, expected battering After match big shocks, no electric 2-1, that result was staggering Them players for once weren't mannequins Composure at the back, no panicking Let's see what's next, the latest test Southampton, the food looks ravishing Hold up, wait a minute, remember the goal is Flazes out, nice to get a victory after two four games about time that we made it out question what's next plot the season water them down for the latest flex but too many times that i fan been tricked into thinking we are upset so next protocol you better just calm down calm down calm down for your own good gear don't wanna face all red like riding hood don't steaming no beaming one day top shotters will be clean as for those up top of the club get them out it's time for money night is freeing all of a sudden, they wanna act up cause the news they brought like Teddy Potential buyers sniffing, they're hiding in the dark like Freddy The way the clubs run ain't steady, unstable, not progress ready Reset needed, top to bottom so we become the ones that heady Man, you face Liverpool, expected battering After match big shocks, no electric 2-1, that result was staggering Them players for once weren't mannequins Composure at the back, no panicking Let's see what's next, the latest test Southampton, the food was ravishing Man, you face Liverpool, expected battering After match big shocks, no electric 2-1, that result was staggering Them players for once weren't mannequins Composure at the back, no panicking Let's see what's next, the latest test Southampton, the food was ravishing Special mention to all the fans who protested And never watched the game, the dedication to the cause insane let's see for the ones who did it their way had to reiterate it's just one game let's see if the ship can stay on the right route or would it detour to the wrong island called Thames no 